This message is to the youngsters. You have the remote control to your life. You have the remote control to your brain. You have the remote control to your emotion. Do not allow anyone to control your emotion, control your mind, or control your life. Through life, you're going to meet a whole lot of people that's going to make things seem so fun, so glamorous, you know. And these people usually are people that's close to you. Relatives, homies in the hood, you know what I'm saying? They usually right there, close to you. You know what I'm saying? You got to know better. You got to know that this person intent is not to help your life. If you got a big cousin, for an example, and they want you to smoke weed with them, drink with them, you know, go party and holler at chicks and holler at dudes and, you know, if this is what they trying to get you to do, instead of teaching you go to school, you know, if you don't want to go to school, let's work on this business idea you may have, you know, let's go to the gym, you know, let's do these positive things, you know, but if they putting drugs into your life, putting alcohol into your life, you know, rec recklessly teaching you about women and men, you have to avoid these people and see young and these people seem cool. You know what I'm saying? For a female, you might have that big cousin and she got a nice body. She cute and all the guys give her attention and, you know, and she's coming around and you want to be just like her. They giving her money and, you know, they, you know, to you, it's like she's just living this glamorous lifestyle. But it's not good. It's not righteous. You know what I'm saying? And they have in the control of your mind, your emotion and your life. You know, stay away from, you got a big cousin. He trying to, hey man, let's go mack on these bras, man. Let's go do this. Let's go get high. Let's get drunk. He should know better. You dig? But he isn't going to tell you how to make your life better. Why would he do that? You look up to him. Why would he make you better than him? He needs somebody to burn in hell with him. You know what I'm saying? You can't fall for that. You know what I mean? Youngsters, males, never hit a female, man. If you got a female that's pushing your buttons, bro, if she pushing your buttons, dude, she's not the one for you, brother. A woman doesn't excite anger out of a man that's for you. A girl doesn't excite anger out of a boy that's for him. A man doesn't excite anger out of a woman. If they're exciting anger out of you, aggression out of you, jealousy out of you, they're manipulating your mind, trying to, you know, hold the remote to your mind. You let them know that, no, I got the remote to my mind. I got the right to my emotions, to my life. You understand that? Never take poor advice. People give you poor advice, catch on to it. That's what they call, that's what they call being conscious. You got to pay attention to the advice that you've been receiving. You know? Get away from her. I know she, you know, you think this this the only woman that's down for you. You know, this the only man that's down for you. But they bringing the worst out of you. You got to get away. Especially young people, because y'all can't, you know, most young people can't even afford to live on their own. So y'all shacking up with each other and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Whereas when you older in your 30s and 40s and stuff, you just, you know, you go ahead and just say, you know what, I'm out of here. I got a little bit more wisdom. I'm going to just get my own place. We're not going to shack up. We're going to, you know, we're going to do this the best way we can. 
once you see this a problem, you don't live with her, you can escape the problem easier. Then when you young, you might not have no mom, no dad. Well, they, they might be alive, but they just don't, they're not playing an active role of a parent. They, you might have poor parents. You dig what I'm saying? Mentally and financially. So you shacking up this girl. You shacking up this guy. You know? She, uh... She's giving you a hard time. Cursing you out. Yelling at you. You know what I'm saying? Bringing the bad side out of you. Get away from her, man. Leave. Get away from her. It can ruin your life. You know what I'm saying? It can ruin your life. Everything you ever work for can go down the drain because of allowing a woman to have control of your emotions, for having the remote to your emotion. That don't even make sense. It's like you have a remote in your hand and you give it to someone else and you tell them, push the button. Push, 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 push. Well, if they push the button and tell you to and, 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 and program you to run off the side of a cliff. You know what I mean? Young ladies, a lot of these young men were not trained properly, young, to, you know, as far as discipline with our genital, our penis, and things like that. So we don't have the. We, you know, we getting taught the wrong things by our big cousins and big brothers and stuff, the neighborhood and rap music. We getting taught all the wrong things. So we running around out here cheating and doing all this stuff because we think that, you know, that's what being a man is when it just caused you a lot of turmoil in your life. You make a whole bunch of babies and now you're on child support. He doesn't know that. He doesn't know that that's what his life gonna be. He's gonna have 10 kids, be on child support, have warrants for child support and all this stuff because he run around cheating on you and doing everything under the sun. So he's a boy. So you have to have the responsibility as a woman to say he's not ready to be a man yet. Don't have no baby by people when you really young. You know what I mean? You know, that way you can get out of the situation. Use sexual protection. You know, get away from that guy. Get out of your feelings. You got to get out of your feelings. Feelings ruin everything. I'm telling it to you women because I know y'all are more emotional than a man. So it's harder for y'all to leave. It's harder for y'all to, you know, to deal with being alone when you were younger. You know, older women, you know, they, I'm good, I'm by myself, I'm single black woman, all that. But when you're young, you ain't got that attitude yet. And you feel like your boyfriend is the best thing in the world since sliced bread, even though he trash. You dig? You gotta, you gotta leave him alone. Before you have a baby by him and now you stuck with this baby with this boy that you don't even get along with not a baby born into a world with no mom and no dad being together in the household don't allow these boys to impregnate you protect yourself and fellas it's really on y'all too because you are the man you are the seed you're going to get the harsh end of any situation most of the time brother it's going to fall back on you if you go out here and have a baby and you and, it, and you realize that you don't like the girl or she don't like you nine times out of ten you're gonna be paying child support, not her. The baby gonna be with her. And then don't do this. Um, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. Some guys out here having babies, two, three women pregnant at the same time, thinking that's being a man. It's not. You've been lied to, brother. You've been lied to. You've been lied to. I'm here to tell you that your big cousin lied to you, your daddy lied to you, your anybody that told you that oh you a boy, you just go out here and soak your royal oaks and do all so your royal oaks or whatever the saying is, they lied to you. Cause they don't gotta deal with that child support on their back until they 70 years old because they got behind on child support and didn't pay child support and can't get a job now because they're gonna take half your check and they don't gotta deal with that. And some of them do got to deal with that, and they still tell you to do it. That's them having a remote control to your life. They still tell you to do it, even though it didn't work out for them. Even though it didn't work out for them to go around here and have a bunch of babies, they still going to tell you to do it. Even though it don't work out for them to go out here and have a bunch of drinks and smoke a bunch of blunts and do a whole bunch of nonsense, they still going to tell you to do it. They still gonna tell you to do it. So you gotta be in control of your life. You gotta control your emotion. You must control your mind. You got to. They still be running around here doing the same thing. You got old fools too. You understand? I was a fool when I was young. Because I was taught by fools. Honestly. I was raised by idiots. Never can tell you that I got good advice. Probably one or two occasions. And it wasn't received well. It wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't showed to me well. It wasn't displayed to me well. The negative was displayed way on a heavier, um, on a heavier scale. Because more negative people in your life than positive people. So the negative people are always going to have a bigger, louder voice. Do you know? Stay away from that. I was taught all the wrong stuff. Every, the things that I learned now is stuff that I had to learn on my own. I made a lot of poor decisions. And a lot of poor decisions I was taught to make. That's why I'm telling you youngsters, man. Because I know a lot of y'all getting taught a lot of bull crap by these old dummies. They're old idiots. And even when I mean they're old, 30, 40, 50, 60, they're old and dumb. Some people never wake up. You got to pay attention to somebody else's life. Sometimes and see like, oh, he telling me to do this, but look at his life. Okay, then I'm going to tell you to see, life is just like Instagram or YouTube or, well, people kick some real stuff on YouTube, you know. YouTube, you get a lot of more raw, uncut, real, you know what I'm saying, truth about a lot of stuff. But like Instagram and things, Snapchat, you know what I mean, TikTok and all that, they're not teaching you, they're not going to not gonna show you how they look before they comb their hair. They're not gonna show you how they look before they shave their head, before they put their chains on. They're gonna go to a nice setting, they, you know, where, where, you know, where the view is nice, where it's water flowing and, you know, they're not gonna take a picture without, you know, they didn't brush their teeth yet, you know what I mean? They ain't get in the shower yet. They're not gonna, that's how it is in real life. Your cousin around here telling you have a bunch of, you know, get a bunch of women, he ain't telling you about them police coming to his door because they coming to serve him you know what i'm saying child support papers he not gonna tell you that 
He not gonna tell you that. He gonna make it seem, ooh, look at this big booty girl I got. Ooh, she fine. Ooh, look at this, you know, even your drug dealing, scamming cousins. Oh, look at this old school, man. Look at this, look at this whip. Look at them rims, clean. Ooh, I just, da, 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 you know. I'm a gangster, I'm this, I'm a pimp, I'm this, I'm that, woo woo. But they not gonna tell you the truth. They're not gonna tell you how that prison bid felt. They're not gonna tell you how they felt when they homie got killed, when when they got robbed that time, when, you know, they're not gonna tell you none of that. They're not gonna tell you. They just gonna show you the glamorous stuff because they got an ego. They don't want you not to like them or not to like what, what they do. So they're not going to tell you the reals. Only if somebody ever tell you the reals in life, they love you. I'm not saying they love you like they just care about you to the highest, you know what I'm saying, level. But they got some type of love for you if they tell you the truth. If you got a, you know, a homegirl out here and she stripping. And she making it look good to you that she stripping and this and that and she's showing i got all this you know this money look at this bag full of money and look at this purse look at my nails stay done you know you know look at this look at that look at my wigs look at my lashes you know when they do that they're not gonna tell you the dude is stalking them the time they got raped the time they got drugged probably the you know, the 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 the, uh, the poor baby daddies they got, times they got beat on, being robbed to, times they did get been disrespected. They just deal with the disrespect, but they're not gonna tell you. They're gonna say, "Come on, girl, let's get this money. You know, let's get these ballers. You know." They ain't telling you about that one time they was in the car with old boy, street nigga getting money. Oh, yeah, and the car got shot up. She almost lost her life. They ain't gonna tell you none of that. About the real streets and what they really go through to get everything that they get. They're not gonna tell you. That's why I say you hold the remote. You hold the remote to your life. You hold the remote to your mind. Don't let them trick you. They no good for you. If somebody care about you, they're going to tell you the truth. They're going to be gentle with you. They're going to be sincere. You understand that? They're going to tell you the truth, the real truth. They're going to hold it down for you. They're not concerned with you liking them. Well, like a lot of parents... You do got uh, many parents that are trash, but like, you got a parent that's telling you, go to school, handle your business, you know, let's, you know, let's work on this, you know, work on, let's work on your dribble, you know, whatever it is, they care about you. Now, if you got a parent smoking weed with you, saying stuff like, yeah, you know, he gonna smoke in the, you know, they gonna smoke in the streets with other people, I'd rather them smoke with me. They don't care about you. They setting you up for failure right there. Oh, you know, I could bring him, you know. At least I know where he at. At least I know where she at. I'm 34 years old, and I know people personally that I don't even deal with like that because of they done stuff like that. Trying to be cool with their kids. Your parents... It ain't their job for you to like them. But parents, be a little bit more um, interesting. You know what I'm saying? You got to make it interesting. Yeah, they not here to like you, but you got to make it interesting because it's interesting in them streets. You know what I'm saying? It's interesting out there in the world. Those gold rims and Ruchis and jewelry and, you know, them big booty girls and, you know, them ballers and everything they out here chasing. 
is interesting. So you got to be interesting too. Though you're not in it for them to be their friend, you got to be interesting. You can be an intelligent, interesting person. You can still make it fun. You can still make it interesting to be like, oh, I want to be like my dad. My dad's a plumber or my dad worked down there. You know, make it look interesting. Make it seem like, you know, let them know like this is what a man does, you know. Not just like on a dictatorship level, but, you know, show them. This is what daddy do. This is what mama do. But, you know, if you want to, you know, if you want to work real hard like this, you know what I'm saying? Don't go to school. But look, you can go to school. You can be anything you want to be. Look at that whip. You can have that whip. You know what I'm saying? You can ball out. You know, you can go to Harvard. You can do whatever. You know what I'm saying? You ain't even got to go to school to do this. You know what I'm saying? You can go, you know, open a business, take business classes, get, keep, keep your credit good, you know? Get your credit up. You know what I'm saying? Sell houses. You ain't got to sell dope. You can sell houses. You can sell cribs. You know what I'm saying? Get you with, get with some people. Get with your homeboy. Get with your homegirls. Get with your cousins, whatever, the positive ones. Let's sell these houses. You know? Make it interesting. Tell them, let them know. Because a lot of these kids, they don't know. They don't know. They don't know the way. The Bible don't show you the way. You just throw a Bible in your son's face or your daughter's face and think that sh that don't show them the way. That's a bunch of words in a book that you barely can understand. You barely, you barely can even comprehend it. You got to teach them a real life. What they gonna be up against? What's out here? So if you got parents that's showing you some love, that's showing you in, that's interesting, that's showing you stuff, listen to them. They telling you stay away from somebody, stay away from them. They ain't no good. Be aware of everything. I'm just tell you right now. If you don't drink and you don't smoke and somebody trying to get you drinking smoke, stay away from them. Fire them. <laughs> It's over. Done. Get rid of them. Cut their water off. They're no good for you. They want you to fail. Get away from them. They trash. And that's family too. That's cousins. That's bro every anybody. You 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 know, I understand these little young boys, you know, they getting taught how to gang bang at a young age. And you like, you don't want to gang, and, and they trying to get you to gang bang, they trying to get you to do it. Get away from them, man. They don't love you, man. I had a woman tell me, go sell some dope. She ain't care about me. Why, because she gave me sex? Wow. That means she cared about me? She just told me to go sell drugs. How do she care about me? You know what happened to drug dealers? Most of the time, they get smoked out, killed, get addicted to their own drugs, or they die, or they go to prison. Why would, why would she want that for me? Why would you tell me to do that? That's an example of somebody that don't care about you, trying to hold the remote to your life, your brain, your emotion. Here, impress me. I'm a cute girl. Look at my breasts. Oh, I'm fine, ain't it? We feel good when we do it, don't it? Here, go sell some dope. You want to keep me? You want to be my cousin? Knock that nigga out. Knock him out, you know. Go kill him. Go shoot him. You want to be the homie? Go shoot him. You want to be the, with, the, with, the, with us? Stay in the game. Hold your own remote. Hold on for dear life. I'm talking about tight. You got the remote to your life. You do not let nobody have that remote. Hold on to the remote. You got one life. You got one. 
I made my life hard, man. Cause I just I gave other people the remote to my life. Here, I gave the remote to this to my baby mama. Gave the remote to my cousin. Gave the remote to my daddy. Gave the remote to uh this coworker, whoever. Cause you think you being strong, but you really not. Cause you just handing the remote. Hey, you hand the remote to somebody, they make you mad, you you beat them up. You just gave them remote to your life. You might have to go to jail behind that. You might die behind that. Remember they tell you in school, man, just walk away. Out here in the world, you can do that. You ain't gotta deal with, you ain't gotta deal with, man, if you don't like your neighbor, you ain't gotta deal with your neighbor, you can go in the house. You know, your neighbors is, you know, they messed up, they bad, guess what you can do? You can always, you know, just go in your house, call the police, whatever. Get more money to get out of that environment. But don't, you know, don't think that that's the end. Just cause you got a bad neighbor. Cause you got a, a terrible girlfriend, so you gonna beat her up. It's gonna make your life worse, bro. Just, just leave. Sounds easier said than done, but just leave, bro. You not being a coward. You not being a punk, or oh, you, you ain't no real man. I don't care. Even if y'all did make a mistake and have a baby together, if she is foul and you was foul at the time, leave. Leave. You hold the remote. To everything. You hold the remote. So remember that. Remember that, youngsters. Hold on to the remote. There's so many scenarios in life. I could I could sit here and all day and discuss scenarios on how somebody's controlling your life. I'll be here all day. So you gotta hold on to that remote. Whether it's your baby mama, your baby daddy, your cousin, your uncle, your brother, your sister, your, your friends down the street. You hold the remote control to your life until you do something wrong with it, you gotta go to jail. Then somebody else got the control of your life. You still got control of your life. You still got right here where you can, you know what I'm saying, you can make a decision where you can, you know, you still got somewhat of control of your life. Cause everything is a choice. But now you can't control what you eat, when you eat. You know, you can't just go to the beach. You can't just go outside and mack on a girl. You can't just do none of that. You can't do none of that because now you're trapped behind these walls. And don't do nothing too bad and you go there and you, you're in there forever. You ain't never getting out. God forbid you never get out. God forbid you, 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 you die. Hold on for dear life, man, to your remote control. It ain't nobody else's responsibility. It's your responsibility. Can't nobody make you mad. If you got mad because you wanted to get mad, avoid people that show you red flags. Avoid them. People show you red flags, avoid them. That girl showed you, oh, I'm a drinker, I'm a smoker. Cut her off. Cut her off. Unless, you know, you're a drinker and a smoker too, and then y'all both is gonna be toxic, and one of y'all gonna catch the bitter end of the stick anyway. Cause y'all both being hard-headed, doing what y'all ain't supposed to be doing. So, yeah, this is to the youngsters, man. You know, I'm going to come on here and I'm going to be chopping it up with y'all more often. But to, even if I could save one youngster's life, man, 
stay in control of your life with your remote control you hold the remote man don't let nobody control your life don't let nobody no don't let no woman no man no big cousin no none of that i'm grown i'm 30 some years old before i realized that i got big cousins that ain't crap they're trash i was a grown man when i realized this that these people didn't want nothing good for me and they still don't to this day. When I walk over to the sunset, I'm going to be by myself. So you got to realize. Have control of your temper, your life, your brain, all that. Emotion. Don't let nobody control your emotions. Don't let nobody control your mind. It ain't good. You end up in a bad position. You know, I know this is a long video. I've been here like 30 minutes, but yeah. I love y'all. Peace. I'm about to be out of here, but really, hold on for dear life with that remote. You hold the remote. Peace.